In today's video, we're going to be talking about some information that I have never known about when it comes to Aaliyah and her music, uh, specifically her uh, second album, One in a Million. So without further more to say, like, comment, and subscribe, turn on your bell post notifications so that you'll be notified every time I drop a video. Let's get into today's video and happy Vlogmas Day 24. <laughs> we we getting up there, but... um. So I came across this video on TikTok per usual and TikTok is basically where I get all my content from but there was this guy talking about you know how Missy sung back vocals on Aaliyah's music which is not a shock to me because they were good friends. They did help her with her music along with Timbaland and so it wouldn't surprise me if she did sing back vocals for Aaliyah. Uh, they were just you know that super crew. As they called it so if you don't know one in a million Aaliyah's single is like one of her most popular songs ever and it's talked about more than any song I've ever heard by Aaliyah other than uh, are you that somebody um, and of course rock the boat because that was her last song but one in a million has seemed to be a lot of people's favorite song and so it's just one of her most popular songs. One in a Million is the second studio album by Aaliyah. And it has a song on there that is just titled the same as the album, which is One in a Million. The album released on August 13th, 1996. And she started recording for this album, 1995 through 1996, which stopping right here. I did not know she started filming for this One in a Million album in 1995 that's just new information to me it's wowing and i mean in some of her songs she does sound very young she sounds like a teenager in most of them so i don't know why i'm always shocked by this information but it's interesting to know that the recording for her second album started in 1995 i thought she had given up after what happened with robert and just gave it like a couple years or something but no clearly she started filming in 1990 or recording in 1995 did not know that but uh it was also recorded in new york city i believe the music video one in a million was directed by paul hunter leah has a few pictures with him and that music video just features Missy, Tim, and Genuine. Genuine being Aaliyah's crush that she is kind of kicking it with in that video. So here's where the new information for me comes in at. So it is said that Missy Elliott sung back vocals on Aaliyah's One in a Million saying, Love it, baby love you baby i don't even know what she says in her own song like am i really a leah fan that's because i'm not really too fond of one in a million my favorite song by Aaliyah is i care for you not one in a million it's really crazy because you would think that that would be somewhere uh lingering with the song it would be an attachment always talking about the song but no it's never been said that missy elliott or at least i'd never heard it uh being said that Missy Elliott sung this part, I always thought it was Aaliyah. Uh, well, I think it is Aaliyah, it's just back vocals. And I never knew that. It, it's cool to know. And Missy and Tim just had that cool flow. I would definitely work with them if I ever got into the industry. They knew what they were doing. And Aaliyah, you know, she had the voice, they had the ideas. So it just worked out. Now, moving on to her song, Four Page Letter, uh, that was directed by Daniel Pearl, and never knew this. This is some information that I have never known about. I always heard stories about her brother helping her when it came to her career and to her interviews, but I didn't know that. And I also know he did the Brimrose, was it called that? I don't know, it was like a little film with Aaliyah, never 
went anywhere but there is rare clips of her in this beautiful red turtleneck with a jean jacket on beautiful black hair gorgeous and her love interest is a white man but the storyline for four page letter was created by Rashad Houghton so the whole video the whole idea the whole concept came from her brother and I heard like he was into stuff like that I, I'm not too sure but uh, I don't know like they said he would help her with what to say and how to say things during interviews he would give input on her style and help a little bit with I guess the videos and stuff like that I always heard it but I never really thought about it so to hear that this storyline was created by her brother that's dope I don't know if they mean the music video or like the song I don't know but either way that's dope must have been straight having family all around you in that business and not having to worry imagine just working with strangers don't mind this ring light it keeps moving i was looking for a phone tripod i seen one but i was kind of rushing because i was christmas shopping and i just didn't want to be out no more it was dark raining the cold so i didn't even get one but I'm gonna get one again. Anyways, it said that Missy wrote, which is not a surprise, and sang back vocals on four page letter by saying, I'm sending him a four page letter. Mm -hmm. I love Aaliyah, but never knew that. Uh, just like I never knew Tank sung back vocals on Come Over, crazy, and it's just so much more that we probably don't know, or I probably don't know. So these are really awesome facts. It was also said that Missy sung back vocals on Fantasia's song right here, uh, and many more. I'll put them on the screen, but they were doing a lot of work. Aaliyah took a chance on them, flew them out, and her intuition became something big and magical. They went places together. And it'll never be a duo, or not a duo, a trio. It will never be three people like them ever in the industry. Aaliyah had the voice, Timbaland had the beats, and Missy had the back vocals and ideas. Like, they were really a dream team, for real, for real. But we all know that Aaliyah's music is very sensitive. <laughs> so if we play it, we will get copyrighted, flagged, uh, warned, everything. They don't play about her music, unfortunately. I would love to react to <sighs> Aaliyah music videos. I might do it on my other channel since I don't really have that many subscribers and I don't care about my monetization as much. So if you guys want to see me react to any Aaliyah song, comment them down below. Go over and subscribe to my vlogging channel. That's going to be a versatile channel. I'm going to do everything on there. Uh, so go over and subscribe if you want to see me react to Aaliyah videos. Because I really want to. Especially I Care For You. She doesn't have a video to that. But I want to react to the song. And I want to react to it a cappella Because her voice was absolutely gorgeous. I was just listening to... I care for you acapella last night with headphones and let me tell you I was listening to her voice and I was literally dozing off just listening to her beautiful voice but that's interesting to know because I never knew Missy sung on those two songs it's always good to know more information uh, and educate yourself more about Aaliyah's music not just about Aaliyah so yeah you guys let me know what's your favorite song out of one in a million and four page letter and if you made it this far comment a christmas tree with your comment i want to see how many people actually watch my videos i'm testing y'all but i'm gonna put the rest of the video of the tiktok where the dude was talking about it uh at the end of this video so stay tuned for that i hope you guys enjoyed this video very short but don't mind that like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Stay crazy, and happy Vlogmas Day 24. Stay to the end 
for the video. I seen this tweet that says, I was three years old when I found out it's Missy Elliott saying love it baby on the background of Aaliyah's one in a million. But people also didn't know that she wrote and sung background on Aaliyah's four page letter. And she wrote and sung background on Fantasia's Free Itself. She also wrote and sung background on Monica's So Gone as well. Not to mention she wrote Sierra's One Two Step. Check out her demo. Yeah.